Smartphones have a function called predictive text. This uses both general dictionary data and user-specific text data. And predictions are based on the context of other words in the conversation. Here I'm typing the cat sat on the, and the phone predicts the next word. Floor and ate the food before it was eaten by the dog. This is a simple version of a neural network, and GPT works in much the same way with a lot more power. To train GPT, researchers collect as much data as they can. They extract words from the web, dialogue from videos and media, millions of books, news, code, Wikipedia, and anything else they can find. Next, we want to take this bucket of text and make connections between words. In 2023, we might use a supercomputer with 25,000 graphics cards making word connections for five months straight. That's the equivalent of more than 10,000 years of processing. This is a photo of a real supercomputer rack in a Microsoft Azure data center. During training, a lot of magic happens. And the result is a black box. We can add a layer of safety to this as well. By predicting the next word, this black box will provide a reasonable answer to any question, solving any problem that can be solved with language. And that's the high-level basics of GPT.